Imagine a world where new materials are being invented all the time. A world where computer simulations are freely available to all scientists for the creation of materials of the future. Material science has given us carbon fibers, lithium-ion batteries, ultrasound imagery. But today, material science is at the threshold of a revolution. Professor Mazzari of EPFL is going to explain how the materials of the future will be discovered. We urgently need uh, novel materials uh, to tackle the challenges that our society faces. We need new sources of energy and we need to preserve our environment. And we need to use less energy. Materials uh, are so critical to societies uh, that we have named uh, ages after them. The Stone Age, the Iron Age, the Silicon Age. But uh, how do we invent and discover new materials? Today, we have learned uh, how to predict uh, the properties uh, of a new material on a computer by solving the fundamental quantum mechanical equations that governs uh, how materials hold together. And so for the first time in history, we have a powerful tool to accelerate uh, our materials development uh, by doing trial and error not in a laboratory, but uh, inside a supercomputer. We're in Lugano with Thomas Schultes, director of the center which houses the most powerful supercomputer in Europe. He explains why these machines have become essential to the discovery of groundbreaking materials. Welcome to the Swiss National Supercomputing Center in Lugano, where we operate Pete Steint. This is a supercomputer, in fact, the most performance supercomputer currently available in Europe. And it is not just performant, it is also the, the greenest. This supercomputer has a green cooling system that uses the water of Lake Lugano to minimize its energy footprint, and a turbine system that provides us with electricity. Now what do we do or what do scientists do with uh, machines like Pete Stein? Well, for example, um, Edison searched 3,000 materials to find the optimal one for the filament of the uh, light bulb. Uh, and he did this in a matter of, of many years. And uh, so scientists could do this now, today, in a matter of 10 minutes using a machine like Pete Stein. In order to create novel materials, these scientists have decided to share all their data so that everyone can contribute to new discoveries. It's the power of this sharing and the acceleration that is given by our computer that will allow to invent and discover new materials with a speed that our mankind has never seen before. Quantum mechanical simulations and open access data will drive the materials revolution.